go. All right, cool. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to jump on to this week's team call. Um, I am super, super excited, especially this week, because we have a special guest on tonight's call. His name is Steve Hurley. Um, Steve and I met at a Calgary event when we were doing the Cross Canada Start Your Life Tour. And uh, I just had this happy face kind of walk up and start talking to me and sharing our stories together. We realized, holy smokes, um, this is a pretty amazing guy I had standing in front of me. And I had no idea of the story that he was about to share. And he totally blew my mind. So I'm just going to ask everyone to um, mute their lines. There we go. Actually, I think I got everybody. So just so we don't get any feedback. Awesome. Um, and so I'm, I don't want to take up a lot of time talking about um, the events and everything right now. We'll do that at the end of the call. But I want to just jump into um, Steve's story because it's really, really powerful and, uh, and it's, it's pretty exciting. So without further ado, uh, this is Steve Hurley and uh, he's going to share his, his story before Isogenics and during and where he's at right now. So welcome, Steve. Well, thanks for having me, and awesome to uh, meet all you guys. And uh, Trina, like you said, we uh, we met in Calgary at that uh, event, and yeah, we we shared a couple stories and that sort of thing. And um, like myself, you've had an amazing uh, journey as well. And uh, you know, everybody that uh, big or small, it doesn't matter. You know, um, everybody's journey is a little bit different, and I try. I try to explain, yeah, I've had some really great success, but you know, I've worked at it as well. Everybody's journey is different and regardless of one pound, a hundred pounds, whatever it is, um, even just energy or what, whatever it might be, whatever you get out of uh, the products or the experiences, that's your success and your journey. So great for you guys. Um, back, I'll just jump right into this. Um, <clears throat> My backstory is I was a professional wrestler and I traveled the world and uh, uh, pretty active, but I was a very unhealthy um, wrestler. We actually did a couple shows in Medicine Hat at one of the country bars um, back in the day. Um, so we used to travel right across Canada and doing wrestling shows for First Nation communities and different sort of uh, establishments, that sort of thing. I started back um, in the very early 90s, um, not to put an age on me or that sort of thing, but uh, yeah, I started back in the day with the Stampede Wrestling guys and did some WWF before they had changed their name to uh, WWE. Uh, did some Monday Night Raw shows, that sort of thing. So it was pretty cool, right? So travel the world, kind of the, uh, the, uh, the rock star lifestyle um, until it come to an abrupt end when I injured myself in the ring. I actually broke my back doing, uh, doing some training. Um, and I did that right in front of my son. And my son was about uh, eight, nine years old at the time and had to kind of drive down the road and pick my wife up from the mall and go to the hospital. And yeah, I had to actually give myself a compression fracture. Six weeks later, I was so financially challenged because of the uh, the wrestling business they don't pay you know any sort of workers compensation or anything like that it, it was a challenge I had to go back into the ring and continue wrestling and try and support um, financially right so um, there there came a time that I had to make a decision and leave that business and get a real job and uh, you know, with, with finances, there was challenges, that sort of thing. So I, I did, I found a job and funny enough, I wanted to get off the road as a, as a wrestler and uh, spend more time at home and that sort of thing. So within a very short period of time, getting a job, I found myself as a sales guy. So guess where I ended back up out on the road. So again, full circle. I'm back out on the road and a few years have passed and uh, I'm spending, you know, Monday to Friday on the road coming home and I'm, you know, only spending the weekends at home with my wife and uh, three boys. So that was a challenge. But over my career as a sales guy, you're always on the road, you're eating in restaurants, you're, you know, 
very poor nutrition. You're up, you're, uh, no, no lie, you're entertaining with, you know, alcohol, wine, all that sort of thing. Very, you know, calorie rich diet. So before I knew it, and I saw it coming, I was close to 400 pounds. 400 pounds at 49 years old. And I hit a very dark place. And the challenge that I had when I was big was, and a lot of smaller folks don't really fully understand big people challenges, is every day there were defeats. And the challenge that I had was you'd walk into a store, you'd see a shirt, try it on. It might fit around your neck, but it definitely didn't fit around your midsection. So that was a defeat. I would travel, I'd get on an airplane, I would have to get asked for the extension just so I could get into the seat. It was pretty bad when I would walk onto an Air Canada flight and I'd point to the little cabinet at the bottom as you get on the door to the flight attendant saying, I need an extension. And they looked at me like, wow, you already know where the extensions are before you even get on the plane. Like that was my life, traveling every week, getting on planes. Um, you know, you would go into restaurants and you would scope. You couldn't fit into, you know, the t the, 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 the table and the buffet type things uh, just because of the space between the table and the, the banquet things you would look at the support of the chairs. So everything was a defeat and it was so challenging. You know, it was, it was a very dark spot. And, you know, I wasn't at a point that, you know, something drastic was gonna happen. I, I had to be at that spot that it's time for me to make a change. And the day that happened was I was sitting at the doctor's office and I was getting my blood pressure done because I was on high blood pressure medication. My cholesterol was out of whack. My A1C, because of my weight, was 9.2, right? He was about to, um, my doctor was about to give me a script for type 2 diabetes. And I saw the scale across the room and I was like, you know what? I'm done being defeated. It's time to get on a scale and see where I'm at. And that was life changing because I stepped on that scale and I still remember it. I was 175.5 kg, 387 and a half pounds. I stepped off and I went, no, that's not right. Stepped back on, it was like, bang on. I walked in that doctor's office and I said, you know what, before you even say anything, I'm done. I said, I'll be back. He sent me for blood work, which was great because that just confirmed all my things with blood pressure and all that. 30 days later, I started, well, I started Isogenics. 30 days later, I was down 30 pounds. I started walking three to five kilometers a day, every day. I trusted the products, but you know what? I was still a skeptic. I was like 30 pounds. Yeah, I don't know if this is gonna work, right? 90 days. I was now down at 75 pounds. 165 days, I was down 100 pounds. It just kept coming off, coming off, coming off because it was the change of mindset. And that's what you have to do. You have to get up every morning and you have to have a goal. You know, we, we talk about 30 day challenges all the time. And if you don't write things down, there's no accountability. And that's what I did. I made myself accountable every day, but the biggest thing was I trusted the products and I trusted um, the process. Enjoy the products, let them do their thing. You know, people talk about putting different fruits and stuff like that in your shakes and not having success. You know what, the systems aren't designed for that sort of stuff. You know, two shakes a day on a 30 day kit, two shakes a day, uh, two healthy snacks and a clean meal, a little bit of diet and exercise, you'll see results. And it changes your mindset and it changes the way you think about every single day. And those small defeats turn into wins. I remember I was, when I was at my biggest, 
I was looking for, uh, and, you know, I'm in Las Vegas right now, and we come down to Vegas quite a bit because of the hockey team. And I was looking for a jersey, and I couldn't find a jersey that fit me. I was contemplating buying a goalie jersey. You know, how big those are versus the regular. Couldn't find one. So then we were in Lethbridge, Alberta, and as we were walking through the mall, my wife goes, let's go check out that store. And I tried it on. It was a 2X, right? It fit. She goes, buy it. That was a win. Because now things are starting to fit, and you can go in and pick it off the rack. I remember taking some pictures, and it's the little things. And I go back, and I start talking about the little defeats that, you know, you go through as a big person every day. I was taking pictures, like, before and after. And this was December 2018, 2009, whatever it was. And I could start seeing the belt loops on my jeans because the weight was coming off. People don't get that unless you're big, right? You start seeing your belt loops, that's a win. The defeats are turning into wins. And that's what you guys need to do. And you know what? So my story turns into I've, I'm down 182 pounds in 16 months. I became a product of the products. I love them. I'm building a team. And I tell you what, it's, it's, it's amazing what happens when nutrition changes your body from the inside out. Just super things happen. So that's really my story. And, you know, I'm, I'm always available to help anybody answer any questions whatsoever. You know, add me on Facebook. Um, you know, we're, I know we're not financially connected, but, you know, I look at this as we're a big team. And regardless of who's doing what, I'm here to help. I'm here to share. I'm, you know, my focus was at first, you know, let's, let's try and promote isogenics and try and sell shakes. You know what? That doesn't work. You, you tell your story and that's what, that's what builds your team. Yeah. Be a product of the products, share your story, regardless of the journey and you'll start building and having great success. So hope that helps. That is an incredible story. Thank you so much for sharing the details. I know that that's, I mean, even knowing my own story, sometimes it's not the easiest thing to just get to those places and go back to those dark places because it's hard. But I, um, I really commend you and um, celebrate you for the incredible success that you've had. Like you are going to be impacting. I mean, you already have impacted so many lives, but I mean, this is just the beginning. I mean, 16 months and you're down 182 pounds and you look, inc you look even younger than I saw you in Calgary. And that was like two months ago. Right. And it's just incredible. Like these products, like you say, you put them in your body and you just let them do their work the way they're created. I mean, I always compare it to shampoo. Everyone always laughs at me when I say this, but when you actually read the shampoo bottle, instead of just walking up to the shelf and you grab one from one company and one from another, you know, on the back of that bottle, it says, use it this way with the conditioner and follow it with the leave-in conditioner treatment or whatever, because it's a system. But then everyone goes, oh, that, that doesn't work or that doesn't work. But it's because they're not using it the way it's designed. And, and you're so right. Uh, that was the same thing for me when I first got started. I read, the, I read the guide. I literally followed it exactly how it told me to take it. I didn't deviate from it. I didn't cheat. I didn't do anything else. I just followed it and I got the results. And so I just think that's incredible. And um, I wanted to open the floor up for anybody on the call right now. Steve, is it okay if we ask you some questions? Yeah? Okay, cool. Um, if, is there anybody, if you guys want to click on the chat link on the bottom, I'm just going to put hi in there so you guys can find it. Um, if you guys have any questions about how Steve um, followed the system or what he did as far as building muscle wise, that's one question that I, I did have from one of the people that weren't able to make it on the call. Um, hey, Cynthia, <laughs> so glad you're on the call. 
Um, but I know that one of the questions that came in, there's a, there's a bunch of people that are at work right now, Steve, and a bunch of my team that are um, at other meetings. And so they asked me to record and ask you some questions. So I'll, sure. I'll jump in first and just ask you, um, we already know how long it took you to lose the weight, which is 16, 16 months right now. And then um, another person had a question. It was, um, how do you use the products to build muscle? Because I noticed that not only you're, you're leaned out, but now you're, you're packing the, the heat on those pipes of yours. <laughs> so I know that the guys were asking me those questions specifically, um, of how you're adding, how you're using the products now to get to the goals that you have. Yeah, for sure. It's um, <clears throat> like I said, um, you know, back in the day, if you look at some of my wrestling pictures, I would, I've never been kind of the way I am now. And again, it's product of the product. So um, I've followed 30 day kit every 30 days. And, uh, you know, I was doing the Isoline shake up until probably December ish. Okay. This last six months or so, I've turned to Isoline Pro. Okay. And again, two shakes a day. One of the big factors was the belly buster. Okay. Um, lots of greens, lots of, uh, I use the immune and the, and the heart booster as well. Um, every morning, uh, the greens. Um, so every, so for six months or so, I would do the belly buster seven days on, seven days off, seven days on, seven days off. Um, that melatonin and sleep, it's great. If, if you're not getting seven hours sleep, that is huge for your body to recover. So I've kind of turned into a bit of a, a gym chronic here. So, um, <laughs> you know, it's because I've never been able to do it, right? You, lose, you get that weight and you've never been able to experience going to the gym every morning. Now you can, right? And it's like, I get up in the morning if I miss that there's something disconnected in my head for the rest of the day if I don't go to the gym or do something right yeah my wife get my wife gives me a hard time because now I'm running about 25 kilometers a week as well wow and, uh, you know it, it's the, the exercise isn't about losing the weight it's about there's so much energy from the products yeah. that you know, I've got to burn it off. And yeah. <laughs> I'm in the gym every morning. I swim three times a week. I run 25 clicks a week. And now I'm doing three or four spin classes a week too, right? So that's kind of the, how I'm toning up as well. But um, to get back to your question, Belly Buster was a key component and the tri-protein before and after. So I would do... Um, uh, one scoop of try and one scoop of power before I went in. I didn't do any of the knocks or anything like that. Um, and then um, after a workout, I'd do try protein again and recover. So if you do a scoop of recover and a scoop of try protein, it tastes like black velvet cupcakes. So, ooh, I never thought of that. Yeah, it's pretty good. So I'm a chocolate guy. My 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 go-to um, kind of crack cocaine is chocolate covered almonds. So the try protein and the recover is the is the good way to go, right? Um, that is so cool. So, um, can you just explain just before we we go past the belly buster thing? I know that there's some people on the call tonight that's wondering what the heck is a bedtime belly buster. So we've got some new. So, Sure. Yeah. It's the, um, so the bell, the bedtime belly buster is the whey protein greens and in conjunction with the melatonin. So you can actually do the fruits or the greens. And basically what happens is when you go to bed, you do the belly buster about half an hour before you go to bed, do your shot of melatonin and it actually keeps your metabolism going through the night. And that's what you want to do. Um, the other key part of this is cleansing. Right. So I was religiously cleansing uh, one one cleanse day a week for the first six months. And every time there was kind of a long weekend, I do I do a two day type thing. So it's it's key Four cleanse days a month or, you know, you do two two days. But that is key. That is. key. Well, yeah. Um, so we've got a question here from Becky. She's asking. Um, Someone was asking about what meds you might have been on before 
uh, you started Isogenics, and then um, how long did it take you to get off? <laughs> yeah, great question, Becky. And you're right, I was on Avalide and some high blood pressure pill. It was like a blood pressure and a water pill. Um, there was some cholesterol things going on as well, and he was just about to put me on whatever it is you take for type two diabetes. So, yeah, it could have been. Um, we didn't get to that stage because I told him kind of hold the phone, I'll be back. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so when I did get about 75 pounds, he took me off my blood pressure. Basically, I'm a prescription pill free right now. So, so that's a hundred percent. Wow, that's incredible. Awesome. Is there any more questions that we have for Steve? Um, I know that you've answered quite a lot about how you've, um, so I'm getting a little bit of feedback. Can you just cut the speaker on there? Thank you. Um, sorry about that. We're, we're calling from truckers uh, to get good internet here. So we're getting a little bit of feedback from the restaurant. Um, how did it change your life? That's what Tammy from Australia is asking. Hey, Tammy, so glad you're on the call. Hey, Tammy, thanks. So that's a great question. How did it change my life? Well, you know, I, didn't feel I don't feel defeated. And that's, that's the big thing. It's the psychological um, sort of every day you get up and it's like, wonder what's going to happen today. Um, obviously, my health has changed. Um, you know, running, I'm actually going to be running in a marathon come this Saturday here in Calgary. So I've never run before in my life. So obviously my health has definitely improved. Um, I know my body and that's the great thing about these products are they, they put you into a state of mind that, you know, it, it changes everything. I think my relationship with my wife and kids have gotten better. Uh, moods have changed. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's, I think it's improved all around. It's a, it's a big full circle. That's a great question. Is there any other questions um, for Steve tonight before um, we start wrapping up the call? Um, Cynthia, I know that you've jumped on a little bit later. Do you have any questions? I know you've got um, someone who started the products recently on your team. Maybe you can ask Steve some questions about how he can get great results or... She's probably trying to unmute herself. I'll unmute you, girl. Oh, no, she's thinking about it. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, that's really awesome. So um, when, how long are you down in Las Vegas for, Steve? Uh, we head back home on Thursday, and uh, yeah, so. Awesome. Well, this, this, sorry, just the last thing, and I know I talked about it. It's if you're feeling defeated, um, turn those defeats into wins and you know when when things like that happen that there's there's a way out of it and it's just a matter of trusting the products and the process I thought I was gonna hit a wall and just stay there but um, there's light at the end of the tunnel and there's there's you know I'm, I'm more than happy to help if you got questions shoot me a note on messenger regardless um you know I'll, I'll tell you and i'll go into more detail through messenger or however you want that phone me whatever I'm, I'm easy to get a hold of and i'm i'm very flexible i'll talk to anybody so uh, i appreciate that so much steve i mean i know that a lot of people that are getting started that have maybe had a hard goal like just to get into the products or to create a system or to create that sort of schedule or even that like stick to itness. Um, I know that this this story and your results are just going to really give them that extra, you know, bit of pow that they need to probably get over that hurdle. Um, yeah, absolutely. Cynthia's just saying she can totally relate. Um, she's got a new guy on her team that she would love to get in touch with you. So that's really great. I really appreciate that. No problem at all. Thank you so much, Steve. Um, just before we jump off, because this is our team call, I'm just going to announce a couple of the events that are happening because we're going to run out of time here um, in about eight minutes and 30 seconds. <laughs> we're going to get cut off. So I just want to let you guys know that there is a major event happening in Vancouver. Um, a bunch of us are driving out from Alberta because flights are crazy expensive. They're like $700 to go from Calgary to Vancouver. 
So if anybody is wanting to jump in, we have two spots available left in my car. And we're driving from Calgary on the, well, up from Medicine Hat on the morning of the 13th. We're driving to Vancouver and then we're coming back um, pretty much the next day. So if anybody's keen to go and see Kathy Coover, Jim Coover, Jim Rhodes, um, Tannis Heron, who is one of the top leaders in Canada right now, she shared at um, Global Celebration about how to explode your team. Um, she's going to be sharing Michael Barker, who's an Isagenix millionaire, as well as like a, I think, see, he's like a six-time champion black belt karate guy who's just exploded his business with athletes. Um, as well as his um, girlfriend, Amanda B uh, Britt, she's also going to be sharing. So you guys, this event is very rare. The fact that Jim and Kathy Coover are coming up to Vancouver for like a room of 400 people where normally they're speaking to 20,000 people at one time and not for a lot, they're going to be training us. They're the founders of our company, if you didn't know who they were. <laughs> so if you guys want to be in an event, um, we have booked a hotel. We are taking the car out. Whatever you need to do to get there, if you can make it happen, private message me. We'll throw you in the back of the car, and we will get you there and get you back. And uh, I wish, I, we, we, Becky, that we could bring you from Ontario. I know that you're probably typing that right now. I can read your mind. But um, and now, if, if this is not something that's going to work for you, I know that if you can make it work, it's so going to be worth your while. The fact that you would be able to meet the founders, ask them like personal questions, be able to ask Kathy how she built her business um, with the other network marketing companies and how she was, you know, working with a dentist office for 15 years before she started Isagenics and got all the success. You guys, this, there's the stories, the, the time, the training that you're going to be getting is second to none and it's $35 a ticket. It's almost ridiculous how crazy this is. Um, on top of that, we have an event the night before in Edmonton, Alberta. So that is going to be a start event. It is on the 13th. It's a private start event. However, we have been opened up to it for our um, team and it's happening in Strathcona Country Community Center and it's at 7 p.m. on the 13th. So if you're interested and you're up in Edmonton or you're watching this and you're not on the call right now, private message me and I'll get you the details about that event. We also have another event happening in Edmonton on the 18th of this month um, as well. And that's going to be an Isagenix event um, that you can invite a lot of people to. It's going to be really great. There's going to be lots of speakers there. Now, I also want to mention one major important thing. October 24th to the 26th is going to be a huge event in Vancouver. Okay, when I say huge, I mean you do not want to miss this. So write it down. Um, Becky, there's gonna be one in Toronto. I'm gonna to get you the dates for that. Um, that's gonna be a lot closer for you and you're gonna have all the same access to speakers and you're gonna be able to go to there and maybe I'll see if I'm flying out. I don't know, we'll see what we can do. But I know, I know, I know. Um, and so I really, really wanna just get those dates in your head, um, get you thinking about October because um, I know that uh, some of you guys were not able to make Global Celebration. The speakers that we're actually having at these ICA universities this is gonna be a two day course, okay? So the 24th, oh sorry, 24th, 25th, and 26th is three days. And you guys are gonna be able to get so much information. This is a university about how to build your business in network marketing. This is gonna help you with personal development. It's gonna help you with understanding the products. It's gonna help you connect with people if you're shy, you don't know what to say. When I first went to my first event, it was an IC university in Sydney, Australia. I got flown from Perth, which is the other side of the country, to get to this event, and it changed my life. It didn't only change the way that I saw myself personally, it helped me get out of the way of myself. It helped me be able to realize that I was worth getting the results with Isagenix products alone, but it was also able to show me that it was worth being able to help other people and coach other people and help them get results, and it also helped them um, change their, their outcome for their business financially. So this event gave me everything I needed and it's coming up October 24th to the 26th. So um, I will be posting that in our team chat um, as we get closer. We might even do some prizes for free tickets for that event. Um, so keep your eye out. Also, I want to mention um, we've got three minutes left. So there is sea salt caramel shake that just launched. I don't know if you guys have ever tried it, but I just posted on our team page the other day. This means sea salt caramel protein balls. 
It means lattes that you make in the morning using the Isogenix protein powder as like a foam on the top. It means having um, different variety in your shake um, arsenal. I know we've just had um, cookies and cream. We have the uh, peach mango. We've got all the regular chocolate ones. But sea salt caramel, you guys, fall, as you know, if you go into Starbucks, everybody's getting these like sugar rich, really high calorie drinks. And this is terrible for you. Okay. It's full with junk. This way you can still enjoy like a sea salt caramel frappe, but it's going to help you hit your goals and it's going to keep you on track. And it's a limited edition shake. This is really cool for also sharing with your other team members about how to, um, you know, boost sales that week and different things like that. It's also going to help you stick to your goals if you have variety. So I always buy limited editions. I keep them to give away as gifts for you guys for hitting certain goals, but I also keep them for myself in the back of my closet. I have pina colada back there. I've got, um, what other ones did I get? Yeah, I got pina colada at the uh, Isogenic Celebration for Canada. It's very limited edition. I've got different ones there that I keep birthday cake shake, different ones like that. And I keep them in the back of my pantry. If I need to mix it up a little bit, then I do. I've got them there. So those are just some tips for you guys. Um, any more questions for tonight before we end the call? Let me just see here. I'm just reading through the chat. Um, pumpkin spice flavor. Is that what Cynthia was asking? Yeah. <laughs> um, Isogenix usually will, will release a couple more limited edition shakes over the fall. Um, last year we had um, mocha and we had pumpkin spice, we had raspberry cheesecake, and then we had the sea salt caramel. So keep an eye out, you guys. As soon as they come, they don't last very long. We have less than a minute. So anyways, I want to thank you so, so, so much, Steve. Honestly, your, your story is being recorded right now so that um, we can share this with so many people that weren't able to be here tonight. And I just want to celebrate you, applaud you. And I'm so, so excited to see you at the next Isogenics event. Give you a big hug. So awesome. thanks so much for jumping on. Thanks. Thanks for having me again. And we'll see you guys at ICU in Vancouver. I'll be there yeah. and I'll look forward to the meeting all together. <laughs> okay, cool. So I'm just going to put us on gallery. Everybody smile and we're going to take a team picture. Awesome. Okay. Have a good night, you guys. See you soon. Bye.